Okay, I have no idea what I'm going to fucking talk about. Let's start anywhere. Ideas are uh, important. Right, good. Dominate! You know. It's... Maybe... Things! Uh... In the end, uh, uh, I reckon a lot of uh, the uh, problems we have uh, communicating, uh, talking about yeah, things that really matter, shit like that. Uh, the question is, said Alice, whether you can make words mean so many different things. The question is, said Humpty Dumpty, which is to be master? That's all. Uh, when you're talking, all uh, this was all triggered off me. Yeah, waffling about this stuff was triggered by um, reading this article and uh, today, where uh, a guy who went to uh, like, did you go to Harvard or did you go to Yale, colleges, schools, whatnot, uh, tend to be all about setting people up for a fucking career, not setting people up for growing a brain, you know, not setting people up for not only being able to think for themselves, being an intellectual, wouldn't it? That would be that would be quite intellectual. Now, according to the anti-intellectual point of view, which is so fucking obsessed with, you know, having a fucking career, um, uh, an intellectual is somebody who's all brainy and shit, uh, anything outside of their specialty, um, not very well-rounded in the fucking head. Yes, right now. Uh, right, so I've actually just fucking confused myself. Now, my co-mates and brothers in exile, hath not old custom made this life more sweet than that of painted pomp? Are not these woods more free from peril than the envious court? Here feel we but the penalty of Adam, the season's difference, as the icy fang and churlish chiding of the winter's wind, which, when it bites and blows upon my body, even till I shrink with cold, I smile and say, this is no flat. These are counsellors that feelingly persuade me what I am. Sweet are the uses of adversity, which, like the toad, ugly and venomous, wears yet a precious jewel in his head. And this our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in every... And, you know, this other side, this sort of... Well, see, that, see, that, 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 that would be being... Yeah, obviously. Uh, people aren't born destined to be fucking, you know, analysing, you know, analytical thinking, you know, rationalising. And it's you know, left him you know, without the life experience of knowing how to talk to a fucking peasant. <laughs> what a terrible word, but anyway. Um, you know, Hyper-rational, you know, that kind of anti-intellectual thinking has even crept into the world of fucking intellectuals. I remember reading uh, I bought a, a magazine about philosophy. It was boring. So I've got a mission. I'm gonna, by the time I'm 30, I want to do this. By the time I'm 40, I want to do this. Blah, right? Um, and to reflect... Um, Drink up, dumb it down a little. That's the key to happiness, right? That's the happiest you are in your life is that point right before you pass out, right? You're all fucking, you ain't worried about your job or nothing. You're just trying to get some pussy or fucking eat some burnt pizza. You don't fucking care anymore. Your fucking problems have gone away in a bottle of Jaeger. To some degree, we're also going to stay in. Yesterday I was thinking about came up with this bullshit phrase, hyper-rationalists. And I think that's an example of this over-specialisation where people who are bright or people who are focused or people who want to get things done or people who want to have some kind of life or people who want to achieve some goals, so pretty much fucking everybody, um, uh, there's a really popular tendency to just focus... Uh, yeah. Focus ever more yeah, laser point focus on what it was. Yeah. Dominate the economy and make it our bitch instead of... You know, running on fucking economic rationalist fucking rails and missing out on something that, you know, frankly, would make a lot of people feel really fucking good. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> it, it's fucking stunning, isn't it? Uh, hey, I don't. I'm I'm going all over the place here. I'm just thinking out loud. So yeah, bear with me or not. But. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> Tragically, it was. Uh, I bought a, f a feeling good about what's going, what you're doing, um, has to fucking come into the picture, or even just feeling bad, even noticing that you're feeling bad.
uh, and I think you want to get done, and you end up becoming kind of stupid about all sorts of other stuff. You forget how to use your brain and how to use your feelings to feel, because you can feel thoughts as well, right? It's important, like, like one of, a hyper-rational device of the brain joint, which is, well, you know, before you, anyway, is, you know, kind of fucking useful. I'm just got this mental image of, you know, white, middle-class, middle-aged, grey-haired fucking men who are just so hard to fucking talk to, they're so emotionally repressed, they're so fucking uncool, they're so fucking up their own asses, just repressed. Um, I want them all to fucking take off their clothes in the street, and dance around naked, um, frightening young female office workers with their sudden outburst of fucking emotion and enthusiasm. Um, the happiest people around are retarded, and that's the key to happiness right there. <laughs> Drink yourself retarded, dumb it down a little, huff some paint, do some glue, because shit isn't going to improve in this country, so get fucking dumb. That's how you do it. You never see a retarded person having a bad day. Oh, sure, they might have a bad portion of a day, like when they lose their swim trunks and they're raving psychotics, but you won't hear retarded people getting together and, It's a wolf of oil! George Bush is dummy! No, they don't, they don't give a fuck. They're just fucking happy to have Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay, I have no idea what I'm going to fucking talk about. Um...